everybody, welcome back. Like I told you in the last video, I was going to do a review on my 400 watt rich solar solar system on the runaway camper to see how well that system worked in a real world situation. I have 400 watts of solar on the roof. I've got a 206 amp hour battery. Middle of January, January 15th is when I was down in the Keys in Key West. So in some southern latitudes, but the, the sun is still low on the horizon, even down there. Um, solar plant panels are flat on the roof on this system. The first night we crawled into the camper, batteries were topped off 100%. We ran the air conditioner for probably hour and a half, two hours. Television, we ran for probably two hours. Now when we run the air conditioner, we were running it on high fan, high cool, off and on throughout the night. So we'd turn it on for 15 minutes for a little bit and then turn it off, turn it on for 15 minutes. But throughout the whole night, it was probably an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, we woke up the next morning, the batteries were at 87.2%. Um, weather was pretty cool the first night. We really didn't need the air conditioner that, mu that, that much. The next day, the sun was out, uh, completely sunny, clear, crystal clear skies, and the battery charged up no problem throughout the day. From 87 to 100%, no problem, it charged up. Night two, we ran the air conditioner a little bit more. It was a little bit warmer out. Um, kind of same scenario, kind of running it off and on throughout the night, uh, kind of as we needed it. It was a little bit little bit uncomfortable having to wake up to turn it on definitely the temperatures outside were a little bit warmer um, woke up the next morning okay it's eight o'clock in the morning down here in the keys batteries on 80 percent we have the refrigerator running outside also so that next day complete sunny skies um, had no problem charging the batteries from 80 percent to a hundred percent so night three, things changed a little bit. Uh, we decided we were gonna try to run the air conditioner all night. So what we did is we turned the air conditioner on high fan, high cool, but the thermostat was set to a high temperature. So the compressor was not running the whole time. It would only you know, kick on when the, when the inside of the camper got warm. And we ran that all night. We climbed into the camper probably 7.30 at night uh, woke up at six, seven o'clock in the morning. Um, fan was running all night. Compressor was intermittent throughout the night. We also watched about two and a half, three hours of television. We woke up the next morning. The batteries were at 48.9%. So essentially we used maybe 100 and, 108, 110 amp hours of our battery. Um, overnight with that air conditioning running the whole time. We still had plenty of battery left. That next day, the weather was partly cloudy. Uh, still, you know, it's still bright sun and then clouds had come over, a little bit of rain, bright sun. So it was like that on and off all day. Um, the batteries only charged up to 75%. So that night we had to actually, I mean, that next night we actually had to plug in the generator just to top off the batteries. It didn't take long. Um, and then we went to bed again with batteries 100% fully charged. So I got to doing some research and figured out how can I solve this problem because a 25% charge in a day when it's partly cloudy just didn't seem efficient enough. And I decided that I need to do some sort of a tilt mechanism I'm losing a ton of energy then laying flat. If I get these things tilted, I think we're gonna solve the problem of just that 25% charge on a, on a partly cloudy day. I think if we get these things tilted on a partly cloudy day, we'll be able to charge at least 100 amp hours during the day. So I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek. So here's the solution to the problem. I put a tilt system on this. So follow me, subscribe, stay tuned. I've got another video coming up of how I put this tilt mechanism on top of the runaway camper, and I think this is going to solve any of our problems that we had down in Key West. 
So from Stonebroke Adventure, until next time, 